Okay, so uh, Tuesday morning and um, we are going to be doing a TB test on two cows this morning. I'll just give you a, a quick update. So basically what happened it back in December, um, we had a, a TB test where we had two inconclusive cows and that means that they, they didn't fail the test, they didn't pass it, it was a result that was sort of in between. Um, the rest of the herd passed the test, which is good news. Um, but it meant that we then were shut down with TB and what, what that effectively means is we can't sell any calves or anything to market. Uh, we can sell milk and we can sell um, animals to the abattoir but we can't actually sell any calves like these behind me. Which is a bit of a blow for a farm like ours that has calves regularly. Um, so what we've had to do, we've had to wait 60 days and then we're now on, a six, uh, on another retest. A retest just for the two inconclusive cows. So the vet's coming this morning, he'll be testing those. Um, in the meantime, we're also paying him to test these calves because um, once they're over 42 days, uh, a cow, an animal needs to be tested if it moves off the farm. Um, so we're going to have to test these. And what we're doing is, is kind of trying to kill, kill two birds with one stone. And we're kind of playing it, winging it really. Um, because if, if the cows pass the test on Friday, I'm pretty sure the calves are passed because they nearly always pass. Um, I've never known a calf to fail a TB test yet. Um, effectively, if we pass on Friday with the two cows, which means we, these are all clear to go to market then, because they would have gone through a test as well. So we can then sell some calves on Saturday. Um, and we, because the vet's already coming, it cuts down on the fee of, of his visit. Um, so we're testing 10 calves and two cows. Um, here's the Angus calves. Um, as I said, they're going to go, if, if we pass the test on Friday, they'll be going to Sedgemoor Market, or some of them will be on Saturday. And I'm, I'm hoping to visit there myself. So if any of you are at Sedgemoor Market this Saturday, um, hopefully I'll catch up with you. I'll be there probably half 10, 11 o'clock. Come and say hi. It's always nice to pe see people that watch the videos I do. Um, but let's just have a look at these calves. So these are three Anguses. We've been feeding them quite well. They're not bad. Um, normally we would have sold these about three weeks old. These are now a couple of months old. Um, we've also got another Hereford at the top. Um, which is older than these um, and we've got another I think another four Anguses around and we've also got Belgian blue so um, we've got a batch of calves that won't go in so but the plan is if these pass um, if we sorry if the cows pass on Friday a batch of these will go on Saturday as long as the Hawley has got room for them it all so many variables it all depends whether we've got um, whether we pass the test but also whether the Hawley can fit these in his um, in his truck because obviously he's not waiting for us to pass the test he's filling it up with anyone else who wants to take their calves to market so we'll have, a, we'll have a quick look at the Hereford that I'm hoping to sell on Saturday and then we'll have a look at the cows um, so that's just a little update I will try and film Friday as well uh, and see what the result is as you as you're probably aware my brother's not keen on being part of the videos I do you don't see him much he might appear in the background so um, I always don't really put the camera in his face when I'm doing TB testing and things, so we, I don't know how much footage I'll get of that. Um, but uh, we'll see how we go anyway. All right, cheers, guys. Okay, so these are the um, oh, this is the older Hereford we um, we've kept. Um, there's another Angus here as well, an older heifer. Uh, well, I'm going to keep that as a companion for this Frisian because it, it matched the age that she needs someone to go out hang around with so we won't be selling that even if it goes clear of TB um, but the Hereford will be going with those Anguses in the shed hopefully depends what the result is on Friday right, let's have a quick look at the cows Come on. okay so these are the two cows that are going to be checked by the vet or we're going to be tested by the vet today so he's going to be jabbing these um, and then he'll be back on Friday to check the lumps and see whether they've got TB or not their, their last chance really but if you look at them they're perfectly healthy looking cows you would never think there's anything wrong with them and that is part of the problem with the TB situation is that some of the cows that fail you don't actually think they look like there's anything wrong with them mm -hmm. it's only when they're at the abattoir that you can check and you can find out whether they've got lesions inside them um, so it's number 12 and 992 look at them they're lovely looking animals this one's not very old at all. So um, if you can see anything wrong with those, tell me. Um, so we'll be checking those, you'll be out 
fairly so in fact you can see on the, uh, the neck of this one here you can see the clip marks from the last test let's just have a look if you don't want to hang around you can break out I can't zoom in there very well I don't want to just wind her up but um, you might see them on that one you can't no, there's no sign the, the hair's regrown on that one, but on the other one you can actually see the clip marks from the last test. So there we go, we'll see how these progress in a bit. But these are the two inconclusive reactors we had last time. Alright girls. Okay, the vet has just arrived, so we are going to be doing the testing now. Let's see how we go. Alright, one to go. Well that's it, the vet's just left, um, she was uh, a Spanish vet actually, very pleasant, uh, so she's coming back on Friday um, and in the meantime keep your fingers crossed and we'll see what the results are on Friday, let's hope for a positive result, or a negative result really, <laughs> okay cheers guys.